So this is a review of the second generation of the, the Flip video camera, the Flip Ultra. This is 120 minutes. This is what you get in the box. You can see you have the camera itself. And I already put the batteries into this. Uh, so it's ready to go. And very, very simple. That's the whole thing with the Flip video recorder. Make it as easy as possible. So you just turn it on on the side there. It comes on, you're ready to go, you're ready to take video. And it's telling you you've got uh, two hours left. Push the button, and we're taking video. And stop, you push the button again, and that's it. Very, very simple. And playback, so you just take a look. And we're taking video. Press that button again to pause, then to delete, you push the trash button. Say yes, and it's gone, and that's it. Very straightforward. On the side here, you've got the USB connector that just flips out, connect it up to your computer. And also down there at the bottom, you've got a TV connector, so you can watch your video on your TV. And on the other side, there's the lanyard connector right there. So that's the device itself. Also in the box is the quick start guide. So the quick start guide explains how to put in the batteries and, and everything else and generally get you going in a couple of pages. That's pretty good. You also get very important safety information that you can start ignoring straight away. You also get this video connector. So this is the end that goes into the flip. And these connectors here connect into your TV. You get the lanyard itself in a little bag. And you also get this microfiber pouch to put the flip video camera in there. And that's it. Very simple, very straightforward. And this is an example of the kind of video quality. You can see my unwilling movie subject here. And you get an idea of the quality of this device. It's a very clear, uh, very good video. Um, and they've really done a good job with the image quality. One thing I have noticed is that if you move the camera around, you get quite a lot of uh, camera shake. It's uh, especially when you uh, look at the video full size on the TV screen, something like that. So when you move around like this, um, you do seem to get quite a lot of camera shake, especially if you move it down to different angles um, to move around to capture your subject. So uh, you just got to be careful with that and make sure you have a steady hand. Okay, so now we're going to show you what happens when we plug in the flip video camcorder on your computer. So when you plug it in like this, flip share will start and um, there we go. And there it is, so that's flip share. You can see that on the camcorder itself, there are the two movies that we shot there. And in, you can move those into your computer so that you can build your video. So the first thing we're doing, gonna do is select the first video, select the second video, and then down at the bottom there, save to computer. So we're gonna do that, and they're across, they're saved. So now on the computer, you can see here are the videos I've taken this month. And there over on the right hand side are the two cat videos I took before. And then I'm going to make uh, a movie out of those. So down at the bottom of this flip share is our options. So we had save to camcorder, play full screen, share videos in email, greeting card, upload to the web. So you can upload to YouTube, things like that. But we're going to choose movie, so we click on that, and basically you put together your timeline by dragging movies into this box here. So there we can see we've got the first and second, the two cat sequences there. You can then put in some titles if you want to. You can put in some credits if you'd like, and it shows you a little preview here on the right hand side. You can also put mu music behind your video, so it comes with some tracks already here. Um, you can use an MP3 if you'd like, and then you get to control the volume, whether it's softer, louder, or just the music, and it, and it ignores the audio that was recorded altogether. Well, in this case, I don't want any music, so we'll go on, we'll name our movie Cats, and then we can click on Create Movie, and then what we see going on down here in the bottom left-hand corner is that the movie is being created and we see the progress bar for that taking place. So we're going to sit here a little bit and wait for that to complete. 
All right, so movie creation is done. It's uh, finished there. And now we go to My Movies, and there is my cat movie that I created here on the right-hand side. And I can watch that. And there it is, and then I can save this out. I can uh, upload it to YouTube.